government problem has been solved with government band-aid, which has been solved by government band-aid. So if you pull off government band-aid, you have three more broken band-aids underneath it that sometimes make things worse. Mm -hmm. The EPA was not meant to go out and, and harass Oregonians and, and murder o Oregonians. Hey, where's the love for one another? Government doesn't love us. That's what we need. We need to get back to a system where people can take care of one another. What you're inferring is, you know what? If we legalize heroin tomorrow, everybody's going to use heroin. How many people here would use heroin if it was legal? I bet nobody would put the hand, oh yeah, I need the government to take care of me. I don't want to use heroin, so I need these laws. If you have just discovered libertarianism or classical liberalism, I'm confident you have heard the term private property or property rights. This might make you wonder, why is this particular group of people obsessed with property rights? Or perhaps you come from a left-wing persuasion, and if that's the case, then maybe you are put off by this focus on property rights. I assure you, that the concept of property rights is a fundamental pillar in relation to libertarianism, classical liberalism, individualism, business, entrepreneurship, liberty, and critical thinking. How am I able to declare property rights as a fundamental pillar of all of these different movements, platforms, and ideas? To paint this picture clearly and concisely, it is imperative to reduce the previously mentioned concepts ranging from libertarianism to critical thinking to its most basic identifiable building block. That elemental building block is the individual. Deducing the basic building block as the individual is not meant to obfuscate my main point. My deduction is also not a sidetrack from private property. The picture will become detailed. Property is an extension of an individual. Therefore, it is an extension of an individual's actions. An action has its origins in an individual's thoughts. As a consequence of concisely communicating these concepts, we can conclude that an individual has a right to self-ownership. Something that you own is your property. Your body is your property. Therefore, your brain is your property. Free agency is possible as a result of being able to think independently, which is a result of owning your own biological being. You own your brain, which means you own your ability to think. As I stated earlier, the origin of action is thought translated into some form of labor or another physical manifestation. The product rendered from your labor is your property. The story you wrote on a physical medium becomes your property. The painting created from an abstract thought manifesting itself through the labor of swiftly brushing hands is the property of the artist. A chair and a table mathematically and artistically crafted from a master carpenter is his property. A member of the working class has ownership rights over his paycheck. Your shelter that is rendered from your actions or inherited is your property. My point simply rephrased is this. Private property rights is a fundamental concept that must be acknowledged if you are to accept individualism over collectivism. All of the rights are extensions of property rights. Property rights should be recognized in order to consistently argue for an individual's free agency from the state, from coercion, from violence, or theft. An acknowledgement of property rights is what allows us to have a system which allows an individual to seek a redress of grievances 
over a contract or agreement abrogation. Understanding property rights is required to establish the ability for individuals to interact, transact, compromise, and negotiate. Although at this point, it should be evident. I will clarify something. Property rights is not a concept limited to land ownership. Property is defined as a thing or things belonging to someone. This is why earlier I stated that persons, papers, and product of labor is property. That list implies that your body, mind, documents, and work are in essence your property. 